Welcome to the series of videos I, that I call why I like a particular ship in the world of warships. In this case, why am I indifferent to British class 2 cruiser Weymouth? Well, look, let's look at it. Weymouth is a uh, well, class 2 cruiser. You can see by by the way it looks like it's it's a World War One type of period ship. It has total 8 turrets, 1 gun each. So generally it looks looks to be okay and if you look at its characteristics based on uh, what's modules it got 152 millimeter guns they do uh, good da armored piercing damage through of its body it got a lot of hit points it got armor at 152 millimeters in some areas this distance of uh, fire here 11.6 kilometers and its speed is 26 knots so you know it looks like it's it's got a good speed it looks like it's got good speed it looks like it it has a good fire range Quite a few turrets, you know, one gun each, but still quite a few. It's all good. Well, let, let's look at the armor. Yeah, as you can see, there's not that much in terms of armor on this thing. It's just mostly around the command section. Yeah, it's, you know, it's good to have it there, but that's all you got. Everywhere else, the armor is paper thin. They don't have really much of an armor to protect, protect the ship. And it's only got armor piercing ammunition. And I'll show you why is this a problem in battle. Let's go to battle. Now, Weymouth itself was a ship that was built pretty close to World War II. Or sorry, World War I. It's in 1910. And it was built specifically to hunt down commerce raiders. Because the British realized that other nations are not going to try to keep up with it in terms of uh, armaments. Instead, they're just going to create uh, ships to raid the British commerce. And so the British decide, well, we need something to protect the British commerce. Uh, and so we need uh, fast ships that can uh, that can chase down the commerce raiders. And that's pretty much the function this thing served during the World War One. It also participated in, in other uh, naval actions. It's actually served everywhere, from Atlantic to Mediterranean, in, around the around Malta, it is served in the Mediterranean in in Egypt, then it went into the Indian Ocean, it hunted down uh, the German uh, cruisers there, it served in the Atlantic, it was in Caribbean, in after the war it even went into Pacific. And so it did a lot of uh, stuff of when it was a uh, was a real as a real ship. Right? And so well that way it's it's, it's it done pretty well for itself as a ship. Um we also say, well, I guess the fact that it ended up uh, its final days as our serving as kind of like an office block for the Navy. Because it was parked on the River Thames in London. Um, well, not really London, but uh, close to London. And the Navy pretty much used it as a kind of a office building for one of its reserve forces. After that, it was, of course, decommissioned eventually and um, trapped. So hopefully you're gonna get in the match very soon because this you know I'm running out of things to say about the ship. Without actually talking about its performance in the game. So hopefully we'll see we'll, we get to it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, let's get in the match. So historically this ship did a lot of service. Which, you know, you would say from that, well, it has to have been a good ship, right? Otherwise, it would not have done so, so much. Well, in the game, it's okay. That's why I'm really indifferent to it. I, I started playing with it on level two, and I didn't, I didn't like it at first, and then 
Eventually, when I learned how to play against mostly other real players, uh, because at this point you are playing mostly against other real players, and I'm hoping to get into a match, it's already been three minutes in the queue, come on! And so, once we, you know, you, you get into that against them, you need to learn how to aim properly, how to anticipate the movements. It's not as easy as, let's say, dealing with a bunch of uh, the other bot strips that I did on the, on the class one. Here. So, from that perspective, uh, my first initial frustrations were justified by the fact that I did not know how to play at all. Once I learned a bit, yeah, I began to say, yeah, this is good. You know, I can do stuff with the ship, definitely. It's not something, it's not completely useless. But it was not something that I was like, oh, yes, yes, I really like this. I really, it really, really works for me. I never had that kind of moment either. So maybe rather than talk during the match, I'll, I'll just mention stuff right now because this is taking forever to get into the match. And so here's the here's the situation. Here's the problem. This ship is armed with armor-piercing shells only. It does not have HE shells, highly high explosive shells. And problem for this is, big, is is twofold. Number one, most class 2 ships don't have much armor on them, so your shells are not going to be any use to, in that case. You're going to do a lot of over penetrations, or you're just going to do normal damage that the HE shells would have done also. You can say maybe you do a bit more, maybe. The HE shells cause fires, they disable components. Okay, we're finally going into a match. Something tells me this is going to be a small one. Uh, I was hoping for a much more a bigger brawl. So with all those kind of components, all that stuff, yeah, so it's gonna be 4 versus 4. You disabling components, ability to use that with the cheese shells, have kind of a better chance of sinking the ship. You know, the ship that's caught on fire it, it also suffers at the same time. This thing cannot cause fires with AP shells. And so, that's a problem. Now, we're gonna go, I guess, to. Go to three fourths and join up with the rest of the gang on the other side of the map. Now, if you think about that, you're also going to be facing uh, class three ships here as you play class two. Class three ships will also appear. And so, it's class three ships. Let's turn. Action stations. It's class three ships, they do have armor on them. And so you're more likely to bounce off. Like I had experiences where I would be chasing a battleship, shooting at it, and the battleship would not pay any attention to me. Because my armor piercing could not penetrate their armor, and they just were like, okay, well, the mosquito is kind of bugging me. Yeah, it's annoying, but it's not really doing much of a damage, and they were focusing on somebody else. So that's the problem with the, with the armor piercing shells. At this at this um, class, class two. So because the ship is armed with them, it suffers from that. Okay, here's another game with also for us to deal. With. The other problem with the ship is that it's not as maneuverable. So you're more likely to catch torpedoes that uh, you have now way more ships carrying them. Okay, there's also. Uh, I won't be able to shoot at that one, it's just going to fire. To fire too fast and it's blocked by the... Now this guy... A fair game. I'll be able to get something. Now you also see here the problem, another problem with the ship. That is it's... Um, Reloading time. So, you miss and then you have to wait for quite a while for it to reload to try again. Makes it very difficult to zero in on the targets. Alright, let's do the other way much here. That's a lot of damage.
Wave is catching between the from the destroyers, so that's kind of explained there. Like I said it's not as maneuverable as some other ships, although there's not that many before I run in. Torpedoes direct front. Hopefully that sinks it. Well, not really. It was a while to get to that uh, start and... Now he decides to steam ahead. I gotta turn myself, otherwise I'm gonna get repeated. Hopefully, hopefully. There's only two destroyers left now, so. But we only have two cruisers and one destroyer, that's not good. The destroyers carry torpedoes, so that those things are very deadly. Now, Weymouth in real life carry torpedoes too. But. The game it does not have any torpedoes. The my ability to set the ships on fire is really is really causing a lot of problems. Okay. If I could cause fires, I, I could do more damage. Okay. These destroyers don't have any armor. My contribution to the damage is very low. The reason being is that not moving still. I think he just wants to get killed off. The only one left. There. The, 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 the destroyer finished him off. So there you go, this was uh, Weymouth. Like I said, yeah, it's pretty good. Um, in terms of that, it, yes, it's a, it's okay of a ship, but it's not that great. If I could set the ships on fire, I, there's more chance of me sinking them. My ability to damage them would also increase the chance of sinking them. And it would actually allow me to help out the team. More than just pretty much shooting at them. All I'm doing is just normal damage when I'm doing it. Oh, sometimes I'm over, over penetrating, sometimes I'm going to be glancing off because the, the class 3 ships have carried way more armor and you can't do much damage for them from a distance. 
my guns and I don't want to close in with a, with a battleship so the class 3 cruisers they just tear me apart especially because they have HE shells also they can set me on fire alright thank you for watching and for listening